So this is question three of JavaScript question interview series. In this question, what you have to do is you have to basically predict the output for these two console log statements. So the first one is shape dot diameter. So there is a shape object on which two met methods are defined. The one is the diameter and second one is the parameter. So uh, when you do shape dot diameter, what should be the output? So just pause the video and predict the output. So in this case, answer B is correct, which is 20 and NAN. So let's go and see why we would get 20 for the first one and second uh, would be NAN. So shape dot diameter, if we go to the diameter function, so diameter function is actually a regular function and inside the regular function, this basically points to the same object in which the function is defined. So in this case, this dot radius will actually give you 10 and 10 into 2 will give you 20 and hence the first one would be 20. But when we do shape dot parameter, parameter is actually a arrow function which is defined again onto the shape object. So in this case, uh, the arrow function, they do not have their own this. So basically they inherit this from the outer environment or the lexical environment. So since in this case, the shape object is defined inside a global scope. So this would basically be pointing to the global scope or the window object in this case. So uh, the same would be inherited to the arrow function. So here, this is actually pointing to the global space and there is no radius variable available in the global scope. So when you do this dot radius, so this would be undefined and when you multiply undefined with 2 into math.py, this would give you NAN and hence for the second console log statement, we would get NAN. So let's go and hit the run button. You can see we are getting 20 and NAN. So this was all about this question. The main idea was just this keyword.